good morning everybody in the last we have done two examples on packed column now we are going to discuss about the tray column in the tray column details and in the notes i have given the lecture notes it has been given as well as powerpoint however uh, i would like to I, while doing this problem i will give small de description of some explanation regarding to what are relevant to this problem so let us see the problem first the problem is i think the same problem you have done for the packed column also the same data i am using it but only thing is that uh, the the way in which we calculate height and diameter will be different empirical equations are different the problem is design a tray absorber to be used to remove 99% of the ammonia from an entering air stream containing 6 small percent of ammonia at 290 degree kelvin 298 degree kelvin and one atmosphere pressure the pressure here given as pascal the entering pure water flow rate is 188 kg of h2o per hour meter square and the inlet air flow rate is 128 kg per air of air hour meter square then equilibrium data is given here you have to there is a small difference between the previous in the previous question you in the case of gas that is air the gas mixture contains air and ammonia so total mass flow rate is given g1 or g2 or whatever it is but here it is gs that is the pure air flow rate and pure water gs and ls are given once you know the concentration of the solute the both the liquid and gaseous phase you will be able to calculate g1 and g2 for example gs is equal to g1 into 1 minus y1 so gs is available so from that g1 can be found out that is the only only thing is that you should know the when you read the question you should know what the quantities are referred that is the more more whether you have understood it or not when you say that pure means that contains the the what they are talking about the main gas inert gas or liquid alone there may be some percentage of the other may be there but based on and the ratio they are talking that is based on ammonia free air and ammonia free water but in the case of liquid the, there is no ammonia in the entry so you should understand this now let me see i will explain briefly what is a tray column here you can see i have shown first the tray column is tower is drawn and then the notations are given and at the bottom how the tray in the tray column how the this is a bubble cap column how the bubble caps are arranged you just see now with this figure you listen what i am telling this is a column exactly like packed column tall column and there are trays are kept at definite distance between each other definite intervals you can see you can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that there are n number of plates and in the case of packed column the packing materials will be continuously placed this is dumped from the bottom to the top that is the different may bottom means there will be one tray at the bottom and the the all the rushing rings or whatever packings will be dumped it will it will be there up to the plate then at the top also there will be plate that is the case of packed column in the case of tray column you see this in bottom you can see that the the in the trays the trays are not extending to the full diameter it will be in cut to be cut into some percentage you see the bubble you can see that it's a full circle it's not a full circle a portion of the circle is cut and so that the fluid will the gas will go through this and this is called the down comer so this portion is called the down comer if you see if you fill the whole the the diameter of the trays is equal to the diameter of the column then it will what happen it will block you know it will be filling the whole there won't be any space for the liquid to come down and in the same way in the case of packed packed column the gas will go from the bottom and the liquid will come from the top in between the exchange of solute takes place from the gaseous medium to the liquid medium 
but in the tray column we assume that the exchange takes place at the uh, at the vicinity vicinity of the plate whereas in the case of packed column continuous variation will take place now the what happens from the liquid will be coming from the top and it will go toward across the tray from so here here it is ending from the right and moves to the left and here this is the down comer that that, that is the cut i have shown it here so the down cover will uh, guide the liquid to flow and then it will reach the left side of the uh, plate at the bottom and again move across the tower and comes out of the the second tray like that it finally comes out of the out of the from the bottom of the tower the gas will go from the bottom and then ga gas is uh, supp supposed to go through the holes or bubble caps it's a sieve plate means this holes so the gases will the passage of gas is through the holes and the liquid is th through the down comer so at the in above the holes they will have intimate contact and exchange will take the solute exchange will take place now you will have to see the notations because there are n number of trays the uh, by convention the first column first tray is numbered as 1 that is the top top that is 1 2 3 1 then in minus 1 n so there are n number of trays the lowest plate is called the nth plate it is it mandate it's not mandatory that you have to give the numberings like that but usually it is the, and then so what happens what is 1 2 3 means the number of the tray which is at the top is called tray 1 tray 2 tray 3 and at the bottom tray n then uh, the g you, are, you can see the g1 g2 g3 like that so many numbers are there g1 is the quantity of gas mixture which is coming out from the first tray that coming out of the first tray because that will leave from the system g2 is the quantity mole mole rate of molecular rate of the gas leaving the second tray and it will reach the first tray and then comes out of the column so like that the gas enters from the top bottom so it is coming from gn plus 1 that is a fictitious plate or you can see that it may be can be considered as a storage the gas will be storage in storage tanks from there it will be pumped to the system so gn gn is the nth tray which is at the bottom and the ga gas which is emerging from the nth plate is not no, no, the notation is gn 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 minus 1 g3 g2 g1 similarly liquid as so n the, for the gas the notation varies from gn plus 1 to g1 similarly the liquid comes from the top and that's also the first from the first tray the liquid leaving from the first tray has got a mole, molecular flow rate of l1 then l2 l3 like that and finally it leaves from the nth tray at the bottom so again you see this is an l0 l0 means it is a storage the water will be stored in a tank then from there it will be pumped from the top so that's l0 is a fictitious you can say it's a fictitious plate and gn plus 1 is another fictitious plate so this is the notation i think you understood okay now here i will again one say in the you have you can see that bottom now this is the tray tray is cut from 80 to 70 to 80 percent of the diameter it will be cut so this will be inserted into the plate and th this is called the you can see the wear there is a you see that the length of the wear is the this is the length of the wear length of the wear means it will be 80 to 70 to 80 percent of the diameter then there is the height it has got a height because there is a small height you can see here this is actually the um, there with the, the a pool of liquid will be maintained there so that the liquid and gas will be in intimate contact if this where is not there means what happens the liquid will flow without there won't be any intimate contact between the liquid and the gas so with this now we can go to the solution this is the explanation of a tray column refer to the notebook as well as the 
for PowerPoint and then thorough with the subject and then attend the try to attend the solution. Then I'm coming to design procedure. You have to find the diameter, the height and diameter. That is what is required. Number of plates or stages from graphical procedure. Here the difference between tray column and packed column is that the tray spacing we are assuming. Whereas in the packed column, the height equivalent is uh, for a stage is determined using mass transfer mass transfer coefficient correlations. But here we assume uh, spacing. Then from the column diameter, the column diameter can be determined from flooding velocity, etc., etc. Then you have to find out tray layout and tray thickness. Once all these things are found, you have to have design checks because you have assumed a tray spacing. Whether this tray spacing is okay or not, so suppose if you are... Mm, uh, assuming very small, some 100 mm or 50 mm tray spacing means then all the requirements may not be there. It may have, it may, um, some downcome of flooding, some things like that happen. That I will explain. So you have to check whether the um, uh, assumed tray spacing is okay or not. So then these are all the checks. What is, um, this is checked using design checks. You remember you have studied in uh, heat transfer operation, you are doing some pressure check pressure check, pressure drop check, and then the dirt factor, all these things. Similarly, in the packed tray column, you have to do the checkings. That I will, that one is weeping. What is weeping? Weeping is the free flow of liquid through the slot. Actually, the liquid is supposed to flow through the downcomer. If it, it is coming down only through the, that it should be guided through the downcomer. But if the liquid is flowing through the slots, that is, the slot is uh, designed to for the gas to go, go go up. And if the liquid is flowing through the slots, that means that this is called weeping. This should be avoided. So to avoid weeping, we should have a definite, the, the velocity of the gas should be, should be kept above certain level. Then liquid holdup, that is the weeping and holdup checks are available in 7th edition theory. And the other things are available in eight, eight edition query. Now the program problem statement and what is to be done is explained. Next, we have to see, see the data. What is basis inert air flow? It is given as 128 kilogram of air per meter square hour. You know, in absorption, we have to use mole in mole basis. So molecular weight of this is air ammonia mixture. You can take the ammonia molecular weight of air. Ammonia molecular weight may be neglected. So the in, and it is pure air. That is what is given. So GS is equal to 128 by 29. And that is to be divided by sec second, 2600 to get in second 1.23 into 10 raised to minus 3 kilogram moles per meter square second. This, this is actually... Some, some molecular velocity. Mass velocity is gram, kilogram per meter squared second. Similar to that. Anyway, you, for the time being, you forget about it. The unit is kilogram mole per meter squared second. Similarly, water flow rate is less is equal. That is pure water, 188 kilogram per meter square hour, converted in converted into moles and in second. Now, one more information what is given is that uh, this is the concentration of ammonia in the incoming gas. That is ammonia, air ammonia mixture comes, enters to the tower from the bottom and that Yn plus 1. So that is, N is the, N is the last, I mean, if you say count from the top, 1, 2, 3, N is the bottommost plate. So y, what is entering to this bottommost plate, N is N plus 1. So y, y n plus 1 is the mole fraction of ammonia in the uh, air. And Gs, from uh, Gs you know, y n plus 1 you know. So you can find out g n plus 1. That is Gs is equal to g n plus 1 into 1 minus y n plus. Y, g n plus 1 will be slightly more than Gs. Similarly, now another um, uh, information is that 99% of the ammonia is to be removed. So that means you have to calculate 
capital Y n plus 1 because mole ratio, this is based on mole, ra mole ratio. So 99% is equal to 0 0.021 into Y n plus 1, Y n plus capital Y n plus 1, which is 0 0.0638. And you can find that Y1, you, what you get is capital Y1, that is 0 0.0638 and small Y1 will be 0 0.0. Not six four, more or less same only. Coming to the um, inlet water, mole fraction of ammonia inlet is zero because it's pure water. So a capital X zero is equal to zero. Some the material balance you will be able to find out X n that is the mole fraction. Of, what you get is capital X n the mole ratio of ammonia in the exit liquid. So it comes to zero point zero two six eight. Then you find out the mole fraction, it is 0.0261. Now you got the both the points A and B. B is equal to x0 yn plus 1. That means 0 0.0261, not x0, xn yn plus 1, 0261, 0 0.06. That is the bottom and x1 y1, A it is x1 y1, just got 0. 6.4 into 10 raised to minus 4. That represents the top of the tower. You see the top of the tower, the, what we are getting is almost pure. The gas is pure because the gas which is containing ammonia is purified you, from, through the column. And the pure water is coming from the top. So x1, x0, y1 will have the value very well. 0 is and 6.4 into 10 raised to minus 4 is equivalent to 0 only. Like that. And the bottom, the maximum concentration of liquid as well as gas. This is the case of counter current. In the case of co current, the thing will be different. You plot, think about it. Next is you plot equilibrium curve, then form mark A and B and join A, B and find the number of plates. That is, you have now you are familiar with, you have already done three problems. This is the fourth one. Similarly comes the equation. Second method is substitute all this value comes to equation you study well and reproduce here. And then here one thing is that LS and GS is already known. When M is A is equal to absorption factor is equal to A LS by GS by M. LS and GS we know slope of the or slope of the uh, equilibrium uh, operating line or LS and GS values are known. That, but M is the slope of the equilibrium curve. So you have to take the um, equilibrium curve may be straight line at the uh, beginning. In, then you take the slope of the element, then substitute and n I have got it 5 and from the other graphical method n is obtained for 4. This is now with this I think I will stop the demonstration. Next one. So this is very clear I think. Next we will do the how to find out the volume uh, diameter of the column and then the you have to find the diameter. So number of stages is uh, you found out and you know the you have assumed the spacing also. So theoretically you can calculate the height but we have to check whether the assumed length uh, height is sufficient or not. So you just make the design checks we have to find out the diameter, volumetric flow, all these things. To find the diameter, what do you require? Cross-sectional area. Cross-sectional area is equal to volumetric flow rate divided by velocity. And exactly like uh, packed column, velocity is determined using empirical correlations available in Perry. So, you know, same way as what you have done in the packed column, you find out the volumetric flow rate of gas as well as liquid you have to take the higher volumetric flow rate usually the gas volume of gas will be more than the volume of liquid so volumetric flow rate of gas is to be taken how do you find the volumetric flow rate you know the molecular molar flow rate molar flow rate is given multiply with molecular weight you will get the mass velocity mass flow rate you divide by density for air you can find the density from per rate is 1.29 or you calculate uh, this is gas flow P equals NRT. 
and it is we got it as 0 0.029 uh, 0 0.029 meter cube se second for the gas and liquid is less than that it is 5.36 into 10 raised to minus 1 what you have to do is you check these calculations and do may, uh, like that i may make some mistakes here and there so only thing is that you follow the video and do it whatever you get you did know, not say it should be what i have done should be correct so you do whatever you get it next is the to find the diameter in fig, page 1489 of equation 1489 page 1437 the equation is you that velocity gas velocity to, to net area that is you you should you should know what are all the areas available so that in the beginning itself i have told there is total area then net area then downcomer area so many areas are there so for that you refer the uh, text or the note which i have given or powerpoint the net area actually uh, the flow rate if you whatever you are getting the net area will be the area total area minus a downcomer area because you see uh, the the interaction between the gas and liquid takes place one through the holes and then one of the downcomers. There are two down downcomers. So the net area will be a total minus a down, one of the downcomers. So whatever you are getting is uh, I got the velocity from the calculation. The correlation there there is similarly one cor correlation is there. FLG is equal to L by G into rho G by rho L raised to 0.5. That is equation 1489 and you calculate FLG. L is the mass flow rate and G is the both the, L is the mass flow rate liquid and G is the mass flow rate of gas. You calculate FLG is equal to 0 0.051. Then in figure in 1438, there is a figure that is the flow parameter is that is FLG is plotted against the uh, with CSBF. That's uh, the flow parameter, another then velocity parameter and then you have to uh, for a 450 mm spacing you have assumed 450 if you are assuming 600 then corresponding values to be taken from the y-axis that what is got is in the y-axis it is for 180 for 50 mm csb is equal to 0 0.088 meter per second you then the, uh, another correlation that is UNF is equal to CSB into sigma by 2 raised to like that and then find out UNF. Uh, you take the, uh, here it is given CSB is equal to UNF into, so you make the reciprocal. That is what we require, UNF is the flooding velocity, that is CSB into, in here it is uh, rho V by rho L minus rho V raised to by rho, rho G, uh, you have to take it. It's, Royal, royal minus rho g by rho g whatever it is anyway you refer the and the um, check the formula correctly then if there may be some mistakes in the in the different editions of query you discuss with others and find out the correct value the equation is uns is equal to csb into six sigma by 20 raised to 0 0.2 into royal minus rho g by rho g or raised to 0.5 from this you know C C S B is obtained from the graph. Royal and rho G V you no know, calculate, and I got it as uh, 1.54. Then you have to take 80 percent of it. That is 1.23 meter per second. Now this velocity, if you divide the volumetric flow rate, you will get the net area. That is net area means total area minus area of one of the downcomers. So we have got it as 0. Point not 235 meters, 0 0.0292 divided by 1.24, 0 0.0235 meters square. And then you can assume that there is a relationship between the downcomer area and total area. The 10% of the total area is taken as the downcomer area. So AD is equal to, that is downcomer area is equal to 0 0.1 of AT. From that you can find out AT as uh, AN, that is net area divided by 0.9. You, you will get this uh, the assumed total uh, AT is equal to 0 0.026. This is in simple mm. arithmetic. 
So net area is 0.0235 and total area is 0 0.0262. From that, you find out the diameter. Pi by 4 d squared is equal to 0 0.0262 and d is equal to 0 0.193 meter. Check the value. Radius is equal to half of that. Next, you have to find the downcomer. What do you mean by downcomer segment area? You have to find the downcomer segment area. Downcomer segment area is, I have told this is a where, you know, this downcomer is formed by cutting the circular plate, some 80% or something like that. So, this is, so you can, what you, we have to find this length, chord length. That is, by mathematics, this can be done. That is what given here. But I don't think, I don't know whether the mathematical for this is a circle and the, how the relationships, when a chord is cut in a triangle, well, how does the chord length, this chord length is the, this down comer, uh, wear length. So, this formula can be used or you can assume that some to 70 to 80 percent of the diameter is cut, the total diameter is cut here. So, this is 70 to 80 percent. This is one of the way you, you can. So I think this will be easy. You take 60 to 80 percent of diameter and I have taken 0 0.75 which is 0 0.13 meter. This calculation is mathematically if you are interested, if, if you want me to explain, I will explain otherwise it is because you should be very thorough with the general geometrical uh, geometry of a circle and all. Uh, this is diameter and this is the chord, the subtended angle, all these things, simple geometrical relationship. Anyway, the, this is okay. Next is tray layout. What is tray layout? Tray layout? Because actually, you know, this is the tray and these are a number of holes. So you have to find out how many holes are required for this tray. That is, you assume that whole area out of, you see, total area, the, not here. Actual whole area is very, very less. So there is a relationship for a whole area AH. It's equal to total whole area is equal to only it is 6% of the active area. This is the active area and 6% of active. That is also you obtain from Perry in page 1438, the eighth edition. That's a small table. The table doesn't have any number, but what is given is that for every I have put here. For every U ratio of UNF to UN to UNF, if it is 1, this should be 10%. If it is 90%, 0 0.08, 80%, 0 0.06. So the whole area, that means the area occupied by the whole holes are 6%. Of the, you can see, you know, the other here slots are here only. The other are flat plate. So you have to find out. Uh, uh, area that is for, then active area is equal to what is active area? Active area is that is you have to subtract both the uh, down cover. Here there is a down cover, this is a down cover. So this is this down cover is to receive mm -hmm. the liquid from the top, the plate above it. It will receive here, and then there is the liquid level is maintained, so there will be. Uh, good contact between the gas and vapor and it will come out. So the active area, actual bubble area will be total area, tower area, um, tower area minus one, two. This is one down comer area, this is another down comer area that is to be subtracted. So you get it as H is equal to next percent of AA which is coming out 0 0.021 into points not 6 is equal to 0 0.00125. This is the actual area occupied the holes. Now you have to find out the whole, what is what should be the whole diameter. You, you are designing the column now. So you have to find out the thickness of the column, the thickness of the plate as well as how many holes are there, what is the diameter of each hole. So diameter of it, that is you can assume 10 mm hole. With, and you assume that it is equilateral. Because that is the each the tri in a triangular pitch, this you can see what is in the distance with circular triangle. So you see this three uh, bubbles, bubble cap you take, they are arranged in a triangular manner and the you know, with an equilateral in an equilateral triangular manner. So for that you have to find out the once you know the whole um, area, area of one hole you 10 mm you know 3.14 into 
pi by 4 d square d, d h is equal to n m of you have to convert it into meter you will get a d of 1 whole is equal to 4 7.84 into 10 raised to minus 5 meter squared so total area is, is equal to 0 0.00125 and area of 1 whole is given so you can find out how many holes are there 16 you get it 16 so we should make it in multiple of 6 because we are making lateral triangle no? so it should be multiple of 6 so 18 you take next multiple is 16 then uh, you have to find the pitch pitch how do you find out pitch that is you make use of the area of this is the area of the collateral tri uh, triangle so n into total area is equal to n into root 3 by 2 a square isn't it uh, so where a is the pitch diameter then mm -hmm. you find out a square you are getting a as 0 0.0367 meter or 37 mm. The design says that it should be between 25 to 50 mm. So correct. You have got that is an exactly half. So this calculation is correct. Next is the final. So number of holes you have found out. The diameter of the hole you have diameter of the hole you have found out. Number of holes you have found out, and then tray thickness. The rule is that the TT by that is tray thickness divided by diameter of the should be between 0 0.2. 0.7 so assume in between 0 0.5 and you find it's a 5 mm thick so as far as the design of the column is concerned you have assumed number of stages that is 5 or 4 or 5 whatever it is then you have assumed a distance between the plates 450 mm and the diameter of the thickness diameter of the holes you have found out then what should be the distance between each holes you have found out and thickness of the tray also is good. so the design is okay to some extent but you have to check for the partial draw other for so many other parameters for explain no? so that we will be one by one we will see how it is to be formed. so design is over the design is complete now we are going to check the design first one is partial drop you can see that the total pressure drop is equal to it is a function of two components, HD plus HL dash. Where HD is the total pressure drop, which is in millimeter of liquid. And HD is the HD, pressure drop across the dispersion unit. What do you mean by dispersion? Dispersion means the liquid is coming from the top and the gas is, dispersed gas is coming from the bottom. And when it goes through the holes, it will get dispersed into bubbles. And so the bubbles will have very high area so the uh, mass transfer takes place very effectively so the due to this um, function of forming of the bubbles the pressure drop will be there so the pressure drop across the dispersion unit it's hd is calculated by k1 plus k2 into rho g by rho l into uh raised to 2. this is also available in eighth edition peri page 1442 i have shown the figures you find it out what is k1 k1 is a constant k2 is also a constant so you forget about k1 for sieve plates k1 is equal to zero k2 this is like a orifice equation do you remember in your um, for, for fluid flow fluid mechanics ffpt this type of equations the pressure drop across orifice orifice is some slot you know small holes what is the it is proportional to the square of velocity so rho g and rho l is known. We have to find out k, k2 and uh square. That will come later. So hd is defined. I will tell you what is hd physically mean. From the figure bottom, I will explain. Then hl dash. hl dash is the pressure drop across the aerated mass over and around the dispersion. Because uh, some mass will be aerated, no? So that is apart from the, uh, the slots uh, around the... Uh, mm, downcomer what is that is also that if you add both this together you will get the total pressure drop and this total pressure drop should be less than a fraction of the distance between the two plates 450 so if you find add it and from which if it is near 400 means your design is wrong you have to change the space between the two plates you instead of find for make assuming 450 you may have to redo it assuming some 600 or 700 something like that or if you assume it is 100 mm 
then you may end up with the uh, design in, in, in the design check you may see feel that you may you can find that the design uh, pressure drop is not okay so for 50 mm it will not make any problem that's why you assume safely when you do examination also you assume for 50 mm space between the two plates then um, how do you find out hl dash hl dash is determined from uh, by beta and hds H beta is the aeration factor that also empirical correlations so of graph is there to find out beta then what is hds hds is equal to uh, for sieve plate sieve plate hds is hw plus how plus 0.5 into hsg for hsg can be neglected so it will be hds will be hw plus how let me see what is hw hw is the that is the uh, height of the wear this is the wear you see i am pointing out at the you know, the bottom of this uh, figures and i have drawn two figures one is the uh, the notation of the various pressure drops and the other one is the, uh, the wear in a zoomed manner that you can see the wear and wear has got a crust what is meant because it's not flat crust means there is a uh, small there is a slanting the, the two sides thickness is shown no the two sides if both the sides height is okay then same means there is no this is a flat but this is a this is called a crust in we can in the case of our waves no you know wave the how the wave moves top and then come wave there also you can crust and trough crust is the top point and then the crust is at the top point and trough at the bottom like that uh, how is the height of the you see the, it's a small height hw is the uh, above the, the when liquid is flowing you concentrate on the other figure left hand side figure where the tray uh, tray is shown then when the fl liquid flows from the top it may not uh, sometimes touch the uh, it may touch only when when it reaches the uh, where so there is a, some height is defined that is called hw so that is again empirical correlations are there to find out hw don't worry about it then hw is the height of the that we have already determined and that also will assume what will do is usually hw will assume hw there is a formula to find h hw then hsg can be neglected then hd what is hd hd is equal to k1 into k2 plus rho g by rho l into u h square the equation number also is given k1 is equal to 0 for sieve trays k1 is equal to 0 For, but for bubble cap and valve tray you have to see per it is available you just check and do by yourself then k2 is the value k2 equals to 50 point this is an empirical equation 50.8 divided by cv square cv is a discharge coefficient dv is dv is called the discharge coefficient that is also similar to in your fluid flow the, you you would have studied it in, during your fpm let's fftp and uh uh is the velocity to the slots or holes ah, here you have to see what there, there are different different velocities depending upon the area if if you take the full tray diameter you say that there, this will be the total area and if the if you are assuming the flow through the holes alone one area if the flow if the velo, velocity through the downcomer another the um, downcomer area another velocity like that so this is uh is uh is the flow rate through the holes you see the flow rate through the holes will be always high why it is small small slots so the whole fluid fluid flow rate will be the same but when the area is more means velocity will be less or when the area is less means velocity will be more you can just see uh, remember in your bathroom you know the shower and as well as the um, tap ordinary tap volumetric flow rate will be one and the same in, in the tower in the shower as well as the tap but the velocity of the water will be more the velocity of water which is coming through the holes that is shower will be more than the velocity which is coming through the tap that is why because the holes are smaller in diameter and so area is less once area is less means volumetric flow is one and the same so area is less means the velocity will be more 
that you can see from. So UH is to be found out. That is, that also I will show you how it is to be determined. Then uh, AH, uh, CV, CV is, uh, CV, what is CV? CV is equal to, um, some formula is there, but it is. CV is discharge coefficient. That is, how did you find out? How you find out CV? CV is obtained from uh, figure 1435 of page 1443. It is a uh, graph is plotted. That is whole area divided by active area versus discharge coefficient against tray thickness versus tray thickness divided by whole diameter. This for uh, us, it is sort of T, T by DS is equal to 0.5. So corresponding to the not six, uh, whole area by um, uh, total area is Active area is equal to 0 0.06. So corresponding to 0 0.06, you find out CV is obtained from the graph. It is equal to 0 0.72. Now K2 is determined. K2 divided, K2 is equal to, what is K2? K2 is a empirical equation given, given as 50.8 by CV square. CV is your determined and it is, K2 is equal to 98. Now HD can be calculated. K1 is equal to 0. So you get HD. Next is, it is coming around, uh, HD, you, yeah, you have to find out US square, that is velocity through the holes. That is, I told, you know, law of conservation of mass, or, that is volumetric flow rate, because it's a fluid, fluid or gas, whatever it is, if you assume a constant pressure and temperature, volumetric flow rate is constant, that's U, UH into AH is equal to UN into A, from that UH can be found out, that is, the velocity through the holes is much, much higher than the velocity through the other area. If the area is more means um, velocity will be less. That is, I just give the example of your tap and the shower. Now, HD can be calculated. HD comes around 68.7. So one of the parameters, out of, in total HD, you have to find out HD and HLS, HL dash. HD is found out. Next is HL dash. HL dash, how do you find out HL dash? HL dash uh, is another equation that is HL dash is equal to beta into HDS. And what is beta? What is HDS? HDS is nothing but uh, HW plus HOW plus 0 0.5 HHG, but HHG is neglected. So HW and HOW. HOW, I have already told the wear height and HOW is the height above the crust of the wear. These are their empirical equations to find out this. Beta, the beta value is, this is the empirical equation. That is, um, you see from the uh, Perry, not a 2, 5 into ln Q by LW. Q is the volumetric flow rate. LW is the length of the wear. Length of the wear is, you have already, this is the length of the U. If there, I have shown the figure of a uh, tray and then the length of the 80 percent, you say 75 percent of the diameter. That is the length of the wear. Height of the wear, HW, is the extension from the plate. You can say plate surface. If HW is zero, means what will happen? There won't be any, the liquid will be just flowing from the top and moving towards the left and then will come out of the uh, through the, come out through the downcomer. So there won't be intimate contact. So that is why we are keeping a wear over this and this is calling this wear has got crust that is what i have already explained now what is f f f v h that is also find out f v h there is another formula f v h is equal to u h into rho g raised to 0.5 find out uh, f v h and add all these things you get uh, here uh, hds you you add h w plus h o w h w is you can assume uh, 40 to 70, that is the usual design, where height is equal to 40 to 70 millimeter for atmosphere column, 6 to 12 meter for vacuum, or 15 percent, or 15 percent tray spacing. So you take minimum, and then I have assumed that 40, that you can assume 40 mm. And HOW, that is height of the crust over the wear, this is another equation, that is page, equation 14109, 14109, HOW is equal to 664 in you. Q by LW raised to 
2 by 3 and LW is the length of the wear and Q is the volumetric flow of it, liquid. Again, calculate this. HSG can be neglected. You see that it is coming around. If you add, see, one is 68.7, other one is 1.135, it is 70. So this is, actually, this is acceptable. Less than 450 mm, the distance between the two trees. So uh, your design is safe as far as the pressure drop is concerned. Next, you have to for the VP. Again, that is available in the 7th edition query. What, what is weeping? Weeping happens. You see, um, you take the, you know, go up and find the page. You see the page 10. 10, you have shown the wear and the, play, uh, the plate and, and the wear is also shown here. You see, if the velocity of the gas from which is coming from the bottom is not sufficient enough, what will happen is the liquid which will, will go through the, or the velocity of the liquid is very high means liquid will, instead of going through the down comer, it will go through the, come, come out through the seas. So that is called a weeping. The, it is, the, uh, as per the design, gas has to go through the uh, slots and liquid has to come through the down comer. So this is weeping and there are empirical correlations to find out weeping. You see, there is a um, graph, there's a plot where is this 1427? This is the I think I have taken the um, photo, the uh, figure from the seventh edition query. HW plus HOW you have already calculated versus HD plus H sigma. That is HD plus HD you have found out. H sigma, there is a formula to find out H sigma related to surface tension. This is empirical equation. You have to use whatever dimensions given. I have copied and pasted this. So you have to find out H, H sigma and you get it as 69. Now you see there are so many lines are shown here. So if uh, here uh, 69 they, and our uh, up to 60 only is shown, this above 69. So there is no problem, there is no weeping. So this design is safe. Next is hold up. I think now I will take a small break and then we will see for the other two parameters. We have to find a liquid holdup. We have found out weeping, there is no weeping. Then pressure drop is also okay. So we have to go for the liquid holdup. Liquid holdup is yeah, the equation for to find out liquid holdup is HL is equal to phi E into HW plus 15330C into Q by phi e raised to by 3. So what is that HL means the uh, liquid hold. There is 40, you know we are maintaining the wear height. There is a wear length that will be about 75% of the diameter. That is in the horizontal direction and there is a height is in the vertical direction that is 40 mm we are assuming. That is the liquid the pool of liquid be maintained which is that is 40 mm. When you say that even though it is we are say, saying that say pool of liquid, it will contain liquid as well as some vapor, froth, gas. When um, due to the frothation, some gas will be there. So you have to find out what is the percentage of this liquid height and how much is the froth height. For that, the phi is the height of HL divided by HF. And HL plus HF will be equal to the total height, that is, it will be around 40 mm which we are maintaining. But how to find out phi? There is a formula. I think this is on the 7th edition query. Phi is equal to E raised to minus 12.55 into Ks raised to 0 0.91 and each parameters are defined. This is 14117 equation. Then how to find out Ks? Ks to find out Ks. There is an equation. Ks is equal to Ua into rho g by royal minus rho g raised to 0.5. To find of C, there is an equation, an empirical equation, and all the parameters are defined. We find out Hw is already Hw is the height of the wear, that is 40 mm. Then this parameter you substitute. First, we have to find out C. C, I got the value of C as 0 0.0328. Empirical equation, only thing is that all, all the parameters are defined. Only HW is there, that is 
height of the wire that is 40 mm we are assuming and you are getting 0.0328 then phi is e raised to minus 12.5 into k is raised to 0.91 k is is given as u a into rho g by rho l minus rho g raised to half u a is the velocity active velocity that is the velocity of the fluid through the active area for that you have to find out similar to you have found out u h no u h how did you find a n u into u n by a h here a n into u n by a a that is comes around 1.39 it will be uh, less than the u h u h is the whole diameter whole area because whole whole velocity velocity through the holes because its area is low whereas a a the area is more so velocity will be 1.3 actually a a is equal to n into a h heat each hole has got a area no so that is what is 1.39 meter per second you calculate in case can be determined phi is obtained and you can find out that phi is also obtained so if i substitute all these values you get hl as uh, 118.2 what does that mean out of the 40 mm height 18.2 is the height of the liquid and then rest is occupied by the froth so you can check it then uh, phi you have got phi as 0.44 so when you divide 18.2 to divide 0.44 you get hf as 41.4 that is the total height of the froth plus so you see uh, it is around 40 mm so the design is correct next is hf is the total height and hl is the H, hf includes hl plus the height occupied by froth next is entrainment entrainment is again defined as uh, eighth edition peri page 1441 equation 1497 xi is equal to e by lm plus e it is defined all the things e is the absolute entrainment what is we have to find out is the how much mole of the liquid is going along with the gas that is absolute entrainment moles per second here the unit is this equation is based on unit of mole per second so you have to and lm is the liquid down flow rate in moles per second that is also to you are we what you are getting is in kilogram moles per second you have to convert it into 2. gram moles then l by g is you have already determined find rho g by rho l raised to 0.5 and find out l by g by rho g by rho l that is you have to use uh, from page 1433 there is a figure 1434 where you will get uh, in page 1433 and figure 1434 if you in what is in x axis in x axis what is given is that's fg i think 1430 Page fourteen thirty three. Is it fourteen thirty? I think this is also in the seventh edition. Perry, uh, you have to see uh, that value. There is a plot of uh, rho g by rho l raised to point five. L by g into rho g by rho l raised to point five is plotted against uh, psi. Uh, that is, it is fourteen four. Uh, not thirty three. Fourteen forty three. 1443 that's the mistake i couldn't find 1443 that l, l by g 1434 is the graph graph number figure number and l by g if you are in for different you can see different lines and corresponding to the 80% flooding because you are assuming 80% flooding velocity as 80% of the total velocity so psi the value of psi is plotted on the y axis you get it 0.07 And substitute that is zero point zero seven is equal to e by l m plus e. e. The value of e is we have to find out. Z is known, l m is known. E is found out. E is a very small quantity, zero point two three one gram moles per second. In a second, only point two three one gram mole is leaving the system. So uh, this is negligible. So there is not much entrainment. It's okay. The next comes the downflow flooding. Downflow flooding. You have that's down down come of flooding. Downflow 
and then flooding. We have to find the down downcomer head loss. That is HDA is given as 165.2 Q by ADA square. This is also the equation corresponding in the which edition of Perry. I don't know. Yeah, this is in eighth edition 1444 uh, equation 1412. 1412 says that uh, HDA is equal to 165.2 into Q by ADA square. ADA is minimum flow. We'll come to that later. Minimum flow area. Then uh, ADA uh, Q is volumetric flow rate. From that, if you know ADA, what is ADA? I have shown in the bottom next page either the wear is uh, that sieve plate along with the wear is again shown here. ADA is the area of the liquid to the down to the downcomer. That means if you see, this is the length of the wear and this is the height of the wear, then you have to add the crust height also. So this will be the total flow area. Uh, if you assume it is a rectangle flow area, but in, in, you have to assume a, uh, uh, there should be some pool of liquid that is liquid sealed. Um, assume some liquid field that that liquid will not flow only over and above only the flow area is to be. So you have to subtract from HDS. HDS is Nothing but HW plus HOW. We have to sub subtract that clearance. That is C clearance. We um, C we assume that 13 to it is to be assumed between 13 to 38. We can assume 25. So HDS will be HW plus HOW. That is 43.64 minus 25. So this is assumed to be the flow minimum flow area to the town comer. Then or C, C, so C will be HDS minus C. So everything is known. ADA is equal to C into LW. LW is the length and C is the um, height minus the C. So you are getting, you get an HDA value of 0 0.08 millimeter. Now you have to add the down comer backup, all the uh, HT total pressure drop plus HW plus HOW plus HDA what you have found out here. And then HG is negligible. You add all these things, it will 114.72. But this is the total liquid rate. But some froth will be there. So you have to find out the, the uh, liquid rate plus froth rate. For that, the ratio is taken. That is, we have already found out in the in menu. It is 5E. So divide it by that value. That HDC actual height, that is height of the liquid plus froth comes to be 250 mm, that is less than the trace spacing, 450 mm. So the design is safe. Now, that is all the, whatever you have assumed is correct. As far as the design check is concerned, you can add the height. How will you find the height of the number of trace into trace spacing plus two, you have to leave some spaces at the top and bottom. But uh, same way you have done in the packed volume also. Number of trace is four. 0.45 plus 2 into you can assume 150 mm or say 450 mm can be given. So total will be 4.8. Now next comes says assume the efficiency because this is we assume that 100 percent efficiency because we will work as you assumed. I mean as you are um, this uh, tray column will work as you wish, but it may not be there some bypassing, channeling, or so many problems may be there. So you can, we have to assume an efficiency of, we can assume 70% or 60% or whatever it is. So the number of, the height will be more. Actual number of height, actual height of the column will be more than the uh, theoretical. So you have to divide, if it is 4, 4 meter is the height of the, 4.8 is the height of the uh, theoretical column, you divide it by density and you will get the height as, okay, F 4 is the uh, number of height of the um, tray loan, 4 into 4, and efficiency is 0.48, then you add the 2, so, uh, there is a small change when I told about the height, 
it is a number of trays minus 1 because the space between if there are 10 trays means there will be 9 spaces so 10 minus 1 into tray spacing so 9 into uh, tray spacing 450 plus 2 into last stage to the last stage that is you can have a 1.5 meter distance at the top and bottom so with this the problem is over i will send it to you share it with you and then you go through it and one more there will there are three problems one more i will explain and the third one you have to do by yourself okay